Sit and set. The verb sit means to be in a seated, upright position or to be in a place. Sit seldom takes an object. And an object really means that the verb sit is not done to anything. The base form is sit. The present participle is is sitting, the past tense is sat, and the past participle is have sat or has sat, depending on the subject of the sentence, if it's singular or plural. The verb set means to put something in a place. Set generally takes an object. The base form of set is set, the present participle is, is setting, past tense is set, the past participle is have set. So set is an irregular verb meaning that it doesn't change form in any of the tenses. Set, set, set. The verb set has other meanings than the ones given here. For example, the sun sets in the west. In this context, set does not take an object. Now we have the two sets of verbs. Sit, sat, have sat, set, set, have set. Always remember that sit, sat, sat seldom takes an object, whereas set, set, set generally takes an object. For example, let's look at sit in a sentence. May I sit here? Sit has no object. The verb sit is not done to anything. The action is not received by anything. Let's look at set in a sentence. May I set the wardrobe here? Wardrobe is the object of may set. It's the thing that receives the action. How about sat, the past tense of sit? Let's look at sat in a sentence. The gifts sat under the Christmas tree where Yondine had left them. This sentence has no object. Sat is not done to anything. Let's look at the, the past tense of set, which is still set. Remember, the form doesn't change. Last night, dad set the table for dinner. Table is the object of set. What was set last night? The table was set. It's the thing that received the action. Let's look at the past tense of sit, which is have sat. The house has sat empty for years. This sentence does not have an object. It has no object. The verb is not done to anything. How about have set, the past participle of set? Zia has set the client's hair into a desirable style. Hair is the object of has set. It receives the action of the verb has set. Remember, sit, sat, sat doesn't have an object, but set 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 does let's practice complete the following sentences by using the correct form of sit or set mary has blank around the campfire a long time what's the appropriate answer let's go time's up the answer is sat Mary has sat around the campfire a long time. Please blank the stereo near the door. What's the appropriate answer for this one? Makes me wonder how I keep from going under. Let's go. 
Time's up. The answer is set. He set the stereo near the door. Blank high standards. What's the answer for this? Time's up. The answer is set high standards. Let's blank and talk about the problem. What's the appropriate answer? Time is going quickly. Time's up. The answer is sit. Let's sit and talk about the problem. A few minutes ago, I blank the turkey on the dining table. Juicy looking turkey. <laughs> Time's up. The answer is sit. A few minutes ago, I set the turkey on the dining table. Yesterday, I blank in the dentist's chair for over an hour. What's the appropriate answer? Time is going. The answer is... Sat. Yesterday, I sat in the dentist's chair for over an hour. The answer is sad. Let's blank the watermelon on the buffet. What's the appropriate answer? Sit or set? What's the answer? The answer is set. Let's set the watermelon on the buffet. If we had blank in the cafe any longer, we would have missed our bus. Time's going. Time's up. What's the answer? The answer is sat. If we had sat in the cafe any longer, we would have missed our bus. Another one. Canola is blank aside $3 each week to buy a guitar. What's the answer for this? answer is setting. Canola is setting aside three dollars each week to buy a guitar. This is the last one. You probably shouldn't mm, on a public toilet. What's the answer for this? Time is up. The answer is sit. The answer is sit. You probably shouldn't sit on a public toilet. Which is right, you shouldn't. Great job, guys! See you in the next lesson!